we found one. In fact, we found the strongest one when we did this for the drug Velcade was a, a gene called uh, CDK5. It really doesn't matter what it means. It's, a, it's part of the accelerator business. It, it sticks the accelerator to the floor. It's also involved in cocaine addiction, so I haven't figured out what the link is. <laughs> it's actually true. Um, so we, we actually found by doing this experiment for the whole genome, and again with TGen, that if you turned off CDK5 in a cell, those cells become exquisitely sensitive to, to Velcade. So then, just by chance, the government, bless their hearts, said uh, around the same time, we have a CDK5 inhibitor drug that we'd like people to test in cancer. And my colleague, Dr. Kumar, at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, called me up and said, should we apply for that? I said, sure. And he did. But then they said they wouldn't let us give it with Velcade. They had to give the, the drug on its own first before we could combine it. We said, it won't work without giving Bortezomib. That's the whole point of the experiment. They said, well, you have to do that first. So we did. And uh, first of all, well, let's get that. So here's the trial. And here's the good news. It actually works. So the reason behind this story is to show you how we go from studying the DNA in the laboratory to identifying a target, an Achilles heel, to finding a drug that matches the target, to treating a patient, and volunteer patients going on these studies. And guess what? We have a new drug for myeloma. Because here's a lady. They got Velcade, dexamethasone, and a mouth gland prednisone, thalidomide, more thalidomide, rhabdomide, dexamethasone, and now she's got really bad myeloma. We gave her this uh, CDK5 inhibitor, and she had a profound response. And as I was just coming in here, uh, I got an email from Singapore from one of our old fellows saying he has a patient that had a great response as well. So we think we're on to something here, and, and this will be a new uh, member of the family. So I'll stop there and uh, thank you for your attention.